right friends welcome back to live lecture this is uh, session number 7 today we are going to deliberate uh, most of the current affairs of uh, december and uh, tomorrow that is the uh, eighth live lecture we are going to concentrate on some banking terminology so please view these uh, carefully and some of these aspects may be repetitive because we have already uploaded 49th week and 50th week so some of you may feel repetitive but please uh, view them because uh, in examination perspective they are important union government decided to reduce the import duty of wheat from 10 percent to 0 percent and if someone asks you the reason the reason is to control domestic price rise and to make available wheat to the common man that is the main reason and if you look at the second one Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Yojana 26 percent coverage was completed and government's target this year is 30 percent and more than that what is important from your examination perspective is what is the percentage of premium to be paid by the farmer that is very important we discussed several times 2 percent, 1 and half percent as well as 5 percent these percentages please do not forget and if you look at the next issue Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu led committee that is 13 member committee which was announced by the union government met yesterday and the nationwide toll free number 14444 is going to be operated shortly that was the decision taken yesterday and at the same time point of sale machines will also be imported 10 lakh point of sale machines will be imported then if you look at New Zealand the Pacific nation this is uh, John Key announced his uh, resignation and the new prime minister is uh, Bill English the name do not forget and if you look at the next one prime minister Narendra Modi won the readers poll in readers poll for the time magazine 18 percent voted for Narendra Modi but the person of the year award has gone to Donald Trump in examination question may be two types one is who got maximum votes in the readers poll that is Narendra Modi but who was declared as person of the year that is Donald Trump these two aspects be clear in your mind and if you look at the next one South Korea is into crisis because president Park Ju Hai was impeached this is important do not forget this and acting president is Huang Kyo An this also do not forget and if you look at the next one in recent times hyperloop technologies is into the news and all of you are familiar with uh, Shin Kansen technology Shin Kansen is the technology for bullet train it belongs to Japan and it is going to be implemented for bullet train project between Mumbai and Ahmedabad that we have already learnt and this uh, hyperloop transportation technologies is the new technology and here the speeds will be almost compatible or you can say somewhat more than aircraft speeds and under hyperloop the movement of uh, passenger transportation will be in near vacuum tubes and in and in near vacuum tubes the speeds will be up to 1200 to 1300 kilometers per hour so hyperloop technologies is into the news please do not forget this and the next one is Paolo Gentiloni is the Italy's new prime minister Matteo Renzi resigned because he was lost in the referendum referendum was held to increase his powers but people rejected it and the new prime minister is Paolo Gentiloni this is concerning Italy Italy is in the heart of Mediterranean Sea do not forget the next one is the USA administration President Barack Obama signed National Defense Authorization Act under this National Defense Authorization Act India became major defense partner to USA that is important aspect and at the same time India also signed recently logistics exchange memorandum agreement that is a lemo lemo was signed by India and now India became major technology major defense partner and as India became major defense partner India can acquire sensitive military technologies from USA so that is the advantage of becoming major defense partner 
So, two, three things as far as USA is concerned. If someone talks about FATCA, that is with USA, LEMO, that is with USA, major defense partner, that is also with USA. So, these things should be in your mind. Look into the next one. Before going into the next one, somebody may ask you, USA defense headquarters, Pentagon, at the same time, residence of USA president along with working office, that is White House, these things should be in your mind. And uh, SP Tyagi is into the news. Somebody may ask you about Augusta Westland. Augusta Westland is basically VVIP helicopter to carry president, prime minister like that, VVIPs. Augusta Westland deal is with regard to purchase of uh, helicopters, VVIP helicopters. And if someone asks you, Augusta Westland belongs to UK, that is one part, and it is a part of uh, Finn Mechanica. Finn Mechanica is the parent company. Finn Mechanica belongs to Italy. These things do not forget. And if you look at the next one, Syria government troops have captured Aleppo. And here, Syrian government troops are supported by Russia, that is one important aspect. And Aleppo, please look into this. Aleppo is world heritage site. Old city of Aleppo is world heritage site. And at the same time, here, Palmyra is another town, which is also world heritage site. These were destroyed in the civil war. And if someone talks about Palmyra or Baal temple, Baal Shaman temple, victory of triumph, these are all in Palmyra. Palmyra is in Syria, that is world heritage site. At the same time, Aleppo is in crossfire because of a civil war. This is also in Syria. And adjacent in the Mediterranean Sea, you are looking at small island country Cyprus. Cyprus is also into the news because government modified double taxation avoidance agreement recently. Double taxation avoidance agreement protocols were modified with the Mauritius as well as Cyprus. These things do not forget. And when you are talking about Syria, another important organization is White Helmets. Somebody may ask you about White Helmets. White Helmets is a humanitarian organization working for the people affected because of this civil war and white helmets belongs to Syria, these things do not forget. And another organization which is looking at providing medical help across the world is Medicines Sans Frontiers. Medicines Sans Frontiers. So, that is also another organization. This is humanitarian organization, these things do not forget. And look at the next one. DG Shala was launched. DG Shala is basically to create awareness about digital transactions. That is a 24 7, 365 days free to air TV channel. This was launched by the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, and Ravi Shankar Prasad is the minister, do not forget. Civil nuclear agreement was signed with Vietnam, and Vietnam became the 14th country. This is important news. Then look at the next one. Resource Sat 2A was successfully launched from Sri Harikota, and these are useful for various applications of land and water. This is important aspect. And if you look at the next news item, Tamil Nadu Chief Minister J. Jayalalitha passed away, and two, three important aspects I would like to tell you. She was born in Mysore, and the second point is that she was a Chief Minister for six times. She was chief minister for six times and Panir Selvam became the new chief minister and Panir Selvam sworn in for the third time. So, these things are important and the new general secretary of uh, AIADMK is Sashikala Natarajan who was uh, chosen a short while ago, right. Look into the next one. That is, uh, as I have already told you, 14444 is going to be the helpline to promote digital transactions or digital literacy. JAXA, JAXA recently launched this conatory experiment. JAXA is Japanese space agency. This conatory experiment is basically to clear space debris. Lot of debris is there in space 
and with a view to clear space debris, this conatory experiment was launched by Japan and at the same time quantum communication satellite by China, that one please do not forget. And if you look at the next one, Human Rights Day, all of you are well aware, 10th December and then digital payments report was submitted by former finance secretary Ratan P. Wattel. Ratan P. Wattel recently submitted report on digital payments to the union government. He made some suggestions basically separating small payments from large payments. So, systemic payments or big payments should be under the purview of Reserve Bank of India and small payments architecture should be separated that is his recommendation. And one more important aspect, all the mobile wallets comes under Payments and Settlements Act. Payments and Settlements Act is monitored at present by Reserve Bank of India. These things are very important. ICICI Bank will transform 100 villages into digital villages in 100 days. Akodara, please do not forget, Akodara is in Gujarat, that is the first digital village which was developed by ICICA foundation. Now, they will develop 100 villages and at the same time Lakshmi Robo, please do not forget at the bank which installed this Lakshmi Robo and software robotics, artificial intelligence, these two things also we discussed in the previous lectures, do not forget. Then 47th IFFI was held at Goa, this is film festival held in Goa and award golden peacock award which has got cash prize of rupees 40 lakh has gone to daughter daughter is iranian film if i am not wrong and if you look at other aspects lifetime achievement award was awarded to south korean film director and centenary award for indian film personality of the year has gone to sp balasubramanian pradhan mantri garib kalyan yojana was announced by the government and two three important aspects i would like to tell you under pradhan mantri garib kalyan yojana deposit scheme 25 percent of the income which was declared will be locked in for four years without interest these things are very important, 25 percent of the money will be locked in for four years without interest that is under Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana deposit scheme, right. If you look at the next one, Varakvik, if someone talks about Varakvik, this is by World Health Organization that is approved by World Health Organization, this is a self testing kit for AIDS or you can say HIV. If someone talks about Vara Quick, that is self testing kit, because some of the people are facing a social stigma while attending diagnostic centers. So, as to remove that, there is a self testing kit was brought, right. Look into the next one. We have discussed previously, Reserve Bank of India stated that free full credit report is to be available to individuals. From 1st January, every year one free full credit report is to be given and Sibyl is a credit information company. Next year onwards, this uh, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar's birth anniversary on, Jan on April 14th will be water day. Next, look into the next one. World Economic Forum published 2016 World Power Language Index. What do you understand by it? It is basically usefulness of a language to a representative human being, how the language is useful. If you look at it, then English stands at the top followed by Mandarin. Hindi is at a 10th position and this is released by World Economic Forum, do not forget. Then newly elected president of Uzbekistan, this is Shawakat Mirjiyoev. So, he is the new president of Uzbekistan and two important aspects I would like to tell you. December 25 marked the collapse of Soviet Union 25 years in the year 1991. On December 25, Soviet Union was collapsed. Subsequently, several countries were born and Uzbekistan is one such country. All the five countries of Central Asia and some other countries born on, born during 1991 subsequent to the collapse of Soviet Union, that is one part. And all of you are familiar with Vijay Divas. 
we celebrated Vijay Divas on December 16th. What is the significance? That day marks the liberation of Bangladesh. So, on December 16, 1971, Bangladesh was born and that day is Vijay Divas. These things do not forget. And the next one is, BRICS countries agreed to share tax information automatically. And more than that, two, three important points you should not forget in the examination point of view. One is, what is meant by BEPS? BEPS is base erosion and profit shifting. And somebody may ask you, why this BEPS is relevant? Because multinational companies resort to tax avoidance by shifting profits to tax havens. That is why this base erosion and profit shifting assumed significance. Then automatic exchange of uh, tax related information or you can say automatic exchange of information A E O I. For automatic exchange of information, countries should be signatory to multilateral competent authority agreement or MCAA. Why I am telling all these things is, somebody may ask you a question, what is meant by BEPS, what is meant by AEOI and at the same time CRS, common reporting standards. So, these things are very important and these are piloted by OECD. Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. India is not a member of OECD. OECD is headquartered in Paris. So, these words you can say the full form of certain words BEPS and all are very, very important from examination point of view. Here, Taxation Laws Second Amendment Bill 2016 was passed and under this as we have already discussed Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana Deposit under Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana deposit, 25 percent of the money will be locked in for 4 years, that is one part. And what about tax? Tax is 30 percent, penalty is 10 percent of undisclosed income. Then surcharge is 33 percent of tax to be exact 9.9 percent. So, total comes to around 50 percent, but to be specific 49.9 percent. So, these things very important because government recently passed this. If someone talks about tax 30 percent and penalty 10 percent, surcharge 33 percent of tax or 9.9 percent, total is 49.9 percent. And this scheme that is Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana scheme started on December 17 and will be valid up to March 31, 2017. So, these things are very, very important. And as per Taxation Laws Second Amendment Bill 2016, if you are having a gold in your house, there is some limit. Nobody can question you. If it is beyond that limit, you have to produce proof, right? So, for the married woman 500 grams, unmarried girl 250 grams, then male member 100 grams, up to that nobody can question you, right. So, this is about uh, taxation laws, the second amendment bill, then Gujarat Cricket Association that is Mutera Stadium, Mutera Stadium another name is this Sardar Patel Cricket Stadium. So, this Sardar Patel Cricket Stadium will be upgraded to seating capacity of 1,10,000 and subsequently it will become the largest as far as the seating capacity is concerned in the world. What is the largest stadium with the highest seating capacity at present? That is Melbourne Cricket Ground. Then Internet and Mobile Association of India constituted Ajit Mohan Committee. What is the need? Basically to safeguard the interest of digital entertainment business and piracy is the biggest problem. So, to control piracy, Azit Mohan committee was established. Then direct benefit transfer for fertilizer will be introduced shortly. And here one important aspect I would like to tell you, direct benefit transfer for kerosene was started on experimental basis. Name the state, the state is Jharkhand, please do not forget. And first open defecation free state. Sikkim and the state which has got first rank in agricultural practices that is Maharashtra, 
ease of doing business index top two states Andhra and Telangana. So, these uh, things please do not forget. Then Cho Ramaswamy died recently and he is famous for his magazine Tuglak. So, Tuglak Srinivasa Iyer Ramaswamy same as Cho Ramaswamy these things do not forget and Panir Selvam became the chief minister for third time do not forget he became chief minister for the third time. Then Stanpan Suraksha app was launched and basically to promote breastfeeding and already mother's absolute affection program is there. Madhuri Dikshit is the brand ambassador these things we discussed previously. This is very important IAAF announced world athlete of the year awards. Usain Bolt of Jamaica he got this award for the sixth time and at the same time Almas Ayana of Ethiopia got award in women's category. So, Almas Ayana belongs to Ethiopia and Usain Bolt belongs to Jamaica they are both the men's category and women's category world athletes of the year. Then team Indus is going to be India's first private moon mission this is very important. And if you look at the next one, United Nations Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization or UNESCO formally inscribed yoga in the representative list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Now, yoga is included in the list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity along with others like rumba dance of Cuba and all. So, this is important aspect do not forget. Then UNCTRAL that is United Nations Commission on International Trade Law basically it specializes in reforms in commercial law across the world and it completed 50 years of its existence and golden jubilee celebrations were held in India recently. Then it created controversy Rakesh Asthana became the interim director of CBI, CBI means Central Bureau of Investigation and the outgoing is Anil Kumar Sinha. Then Kids Rights Foundation established International Children's Peace Prize. International Children's Peace Prize has gone to Kehkaushan Basu and Kehkaushan Basu is based in United Arab Emirates and please look into this here Nobel Prize laureate Muhammad Yunus is giving a prize and look into the next one. Praveen Mahajan became the first woman president of All India Tennis Association or AITA. So, first woman to become president of All India Tennis Association is Praveen Mahajan. Then Pankaj Advani please do not forget he is famous billiards player and he won the 11th world billiards championship. He defeated Peter Gilchrist of Singapore by 6 games to 3 and the final was held at Bengaluru. Then the next one is central government is giving more emphasis on Android based Aadhaar enabled payment system. Android based Aadhaar enabled payment system is being developed in collaboration with the Tata Consultancy Services do not forget. Then RBI allowed use of OTP in eKYC process for account opening. Now based on one time password using electronic KYC or eKYC process Aadhaar based then limited way the account can be operated. One limit is if it is deposit account the maximum is rupees 1 lakh that means if the account is opened based on Aadhaar eKYC along with one time password. If it is normal account then that means if it is a savings bank account maximum deposit is rupees 1 lakh a year and if it is a term loan account maximum is rupees 60,000 beyond that normal process has to take place. Then great barrier reef is into the news because of coral bleaching when the colorful algae is expelled. Why the colorful algae is expelled? Because of the reason raise in temperature of ocean waters because of raise in temperatures of ocean waters colorful algae will be expelled that is known as a zooxanthellae algae because of expelling of zooxanthellae algae 
coral bleaching occurs and great barrier reef is worst affected and somebody may ask you a question where is the great barrier reef that is near australia this is very important then new chief of directorate general of civil aviation is b s buller more than that one more important aspect i would like to tell you this is aviation sector regulator in our country food regulator all of you are familiar with fssai similarly there are regulators in our country troy is a telecom regulator insurance uh, regulator is irdai banking regulator is rbi like that aviation sector regulator is dgca bs buller became its a new chief next one is indra navy naval exercises were held near visakhapatnam indra exercises between india and russia and parallelly please don't forget at bombay and goa konkan exercises were held between india and uk these things also don't forget next one is the world soil day we observed on 5th december theme for this year is soils and pulses a symbiosis for life then fifa now cristiano ronaldo he is the player from portugal he won prestigious 2016 fifa ballon d'or award and he got it for fourth time two three things are important who gives this ballon d'or award that is given by fifa second point is cristiano ronaldo belongs to portugal famous football player third important point is this is the fourth time he got the award then next one is armed forces flag day was observed on 7th december this is to honor the sacrifices of brave soldiers airmen and sailors of india next one is the center of excellence in information technology is coming up in al azhar university in egypt right look at the next one antonio guterres last week we discussed he is going to be the ninth secretary general of united nations eighth is ban ki moon and 90s antonio guterres the period will be 5 years look into the next one global education rank rankings by pisa recently this global education rankings were announced you may ask a doubt what is the pisa pisa means program for international student assessment here 15 year olds will be tested in mathematics reading and science and this pisa framework was developed by oecd oecd is also behind beps as well as automatic exchange of information and similarly oecd is behind pisa also and singapore topped it both in reading and maths singapore is at the top position because of its excellence education system Donald Trump is going to be the 45th president of USA and 44th chief justice will be JS Kehar and he will be in that post for 7 months because 65 years is the retirement age for chief justice of the country and JS Kehar is going to be the first chief justice from Sikh community look into the next one konkan exercises just now i have told you between india and united kingdom held at bombay and goa this is important we have discussed indra exercises at visakhapatnam and bombay and goa konkan exercises between india and uk amazon launched a launch pad basically to support a startup india program so if someone talks about a launch pad that is the initiative of amazon to support a startup india then the next one is this is very important during the past 16 years starting from 2000 right up to 2016 india received fdi of 300 billion dollars foreign direct investment of 300 billion dollars out of 300 billion dollars one third around 100 billion dollars came from mauritius and there is a lawful in the double taxation avoidance agreement that's why government revised double taxation avoidance agreement which is going to come into force from 1st april 2017 right look into the next one 4th december is a navy day why do we celebrate on 4th december because that is the day in the year 1971 india attacked karachi harbor those were the days liberation of bangladesh was going on 
and to commemorate that operation trident we celebrate navy day on 4th december next one is magnus carlsen became world chess championship for the year 2016 he belongs to norway and number one ranked player in the world and he became grand master in 2004 at the age of 13 years this is important aspect first cycle highway uttar pradesh all of you are well aware about express way between agra and lucknow 302 kilometers express way was inaugurated now asia's first cycle highway was inaugurated between itawa and agra 207 kilometers length so this is also uttar pradesh please don't forget then union cabinet approved central assistance of 36 central assistance of rupees 2000 crore for around 36000 displaced families from park occupied kashmir region and chamb and cash benefit of rupees 5 lakh will be given to each family next one is 2016 women's t20 asia cup cricket tournament was won by india india's sixth asia cup crown and the final was held at bangkok thailand and in the final india defeated pakistan by 17 runs and certain aspects don't forget we got junior hockey title after 15 years that one very very important national pollution control day is observed on 2nd december the significance is in bhopal heart of bhopal in the year 1984 this methyl isocyanate released from union carbide factory and subsequently thousands of people lost their lives to commemorate that we celebrate this national pollution control day on 2nd december then lieutenant general bipin rawat is going to be the next chief of army staff and lot of debate was held subsequently because two persons were bypassed anyhow the news is very important one is general dalbir singh is retiring on 31st december and bipin rawat is going to be the next chief of army and at the same time air chief marshal anup raha is arup raha is retiring on december 31st and bs dhanova is going to be the next air chief these things please don't forget government recently constituted inter ministerial task force to look into the strategic aspects of indus water treaty and government is looking at various aspects of indus water treaty and it is going to be headed by rupendra mishra please don't forget rupendra mishra is the principal secretary to the prime minister and if you look at indus water treaty that is signed on 19th september 1960 jawarlal nehru was indian prime minister at that time mohammad ayub khan was president of uh, pakistan and world bank was also signatory to indus water treaty very important now here as per indus water treaty please look into this three western rivers are allocated to pakistan indus chelam chena three eastern rivers are allocated to india ravi bias satlas and here several hydroelectric projects came into focus kishan ganga ratle baglihar tulbul these are all in jammu and kashmir please don't forget these came into focus and on which river they are situated this is very very important ratle baglihar kishan ganga tulbul these projects please verify on which river they are situated these four are in jammu and kashmir they are into the news so there is every possibility in exam you may have a question then china seized unmanned underwater vehicle of usa in south china sea and please look into this this is south china sea there is a dispute going on between china and five countries so south china sea is very critical recently one unmanned drone was seized and subsequently handed over to usa revised treaty that is india cyprus dtaa that will come into force from april 1 2017 and please don't forget from april 1 onwards it will be source based taxation instead of residence based look into the next one this is parliament passed the rights of persons with disabilities bill 2016 and one important aspect is types of disabilities increased from 7 to 21 that is important aspect 
Next, merchant discount rates for debit card transactions are capped. For debit card transactions, merchant discount rate up to rupees 1000 is 0.25 percent and rupees 1000 to rupees 2000, it is 0.5 percent that is merchant discount rate. And if somebody is making transactions through USSD or UPI, there will not be any transaction charges. These are important aspects as per the notification given by RBI. Then government decided to sell Pavan Hans Helicopters Limited. Strategic disinvestment means government coming out of management control and this Pavan Hans Helicopters Limited is going to be disinvested with strategic disinvestment and government is going to come out of majority stake. Now at present 51 percent is held by government of India, 49 percent by ONGC. This decision was taken recently and another important aspect is liquor shops should not be there up to 500 meters from national highways as well as state highways up to 500 meters, no liquor shop from national highways as well as state highways. This is very important uh, decree given by the Supreme Court. Supreme Court recently banned all liquor shops on national as well as state highways up to a distance of 500 meters. Then as I have already told you, Indian junior hockey team won the world title by beating Belgium by 2-1. This is very important and India won after 15 years. Then the next one is India defeated England. This is uh, normal news, but what is important is uh, India is unbeaten in 18 tests. India created record by being unbeaten for 18 tests. This is one important record was created. Then the National Green Tribunal imposed interim nationwide ban on the use of glass coated manza for flying kites because they are causing injury to human beings as well as birds, as well as animals and that is why this National Green Tribunal banned it. National Green Tribunal is a statutory body established in the year 2010, do not forget. Next one, consumer price index is the lowest since November 2014 at 3.63 percent. Some of the effect may be due to demonetization, I am not going to those details and several records were established at M. A. Chidambaram Stadium in Chennai in the fifth test and here India scored highest 759 per 7 and Karun Nair became second Indian batsman to score a triple 100 after Virendra Sahivag and remaining aspects I have given here, please go through them. Next one is CERT here one important aspect I would like to tell you which is the nodal agency to look at the cyber security threats like hacking and phishing. Three words are very important, skimming, illegally copying the information from your cards, phishing that, that is uh, taking information, important information by inciting you to give important information like passwords as well as uh, your usernames. So, that is uh, phishing. Third one is hacking, illegally intruding into the network that is hacking and the organization to look at all these things is a computer emergency response team or CERT in that is very important. So, CERT in is the, node, is the nodal agency for cyber crimes. Next one is country's first amphibious bus service was launched by Punjab. This was launched amphibious bus service means which can run on both water as well as land and this amphibious bus service was launched in Harike wetlands and somebody may ask you where are Harike wetlands? This Harike wetlands are situated in Punjab. Next one is customers making digital payment for purchase of diesel and petrol 0.75 percent discount. Then largest indoor sports stadium is coming up in Kolkata. At present, the largest stadium is Indira Gandhi Indoor Stadium in New Delhi and in future, Kolkata Indoor Stadium will become the largest in our country. And the next one is, UNICEF's Global Goodwill Ambassador is going to be Priyanka Chopra. 
at present she is unicef's national ambassador and she is going to become global goodwill ambassador for unicef and the next one is a sitwe port is being built by india this somebody may ask you a question where is sitwe port sitwe port is in myanmar it is a part of kaladan multimodal transit transport project then world's longest rail tunnel started commercial operations the tunnel name is gotard base tunnel or gbt this is in switzerland please don't forget the second longest is in japan sikon rail tunnel third one is uk and france channel tunnel so english channel if somebody asks you you may get this question where is english channel english channel is between united kingdom as well as france and the longest rail tunnel is in switzerland don't forget the national green tribunal directed to cancel allotments of salt ponds in sambar salt lake where is the sambar salt lake this is in rajasthan that is one part and this is india's largest inland salt lake and it is designated as a ramsar site also and this ramsar convention is a convention on wetlands please don't forget the next one is india tied up with indian government tied up with intel to monitor online river water and air quality system so intel will associate with government of india for online monitoring of river water and air quality monitoring systems then swayam this is important swayam means study webs of active learning for young aspiring minds this is to promote online education and here swayam is going to be developed in association with the software giant microsoft this is very important then two aspects i would like to tell you name the country which is the hit by hyperinflation hyperinflation is the venezuela please don't forget second important aspect is name the country which banned the highest denominated bolivar note and subsequently they have postponed it to january that is different story and these two questions answer is venezuela venezuela is suffering because the of crash in oil prices unesco world heritage site which is into the news is aleppo just now i have told you and the next one is this hdfc limited will raise another rupees 3000 crore through masala bonds already rupees 5000 crore raised another 3000 crores of rupees are going to be raised through masala bonds then vk sharma became the chairman of lic for a period of 5 years and somebody may ask you a question what is india's largest financial institution that is life insurance corporation of india then the last one is post harvest festival of paddy talfa wang kot was organized in mizoram and please don't forget sangai festival manipur wangala festival or 100 drum festival meghalaya these things don't forget and with this let us conclude seventh live session tomorrow will be the last live session eighth live session i am going to discuss some banking terminology which is into the news in recent times and this concludes seventh live lecture have a nice day thank you thanks a lot